We are headed back out today to do another camper. Uh, yesterday we got the one down at the campground in Loudonville. Uh, disposed of the first one, so we've got the um, rollback on the dump trailer again. Tad, he's back there with our second rollback. Um, we're headed about 40 minutes away from our shop today. To do another one that has been destroyed by a tree falling on it. Um, this one's a little bit bigger, I should say quite a bit bigger. I've been told it's a 40 footer, so we've seen pictures. It uh, looks in similar shape as the one yesterday that we did that was virtually cut in half by the tree. And, um, so we're headed there now, we will assess it and see what's going to be the quickest and safest plan of attack to get it loaded up and hauled off to the jump, so we'll get back at it. <laughs> Looks like fun, right? Yeah. And a little bit of a tight driveway here, especially for a truck in a trailer. You can see trees blown down all over the place. Um, so that might be quite the time getting backed in here. Oh yeah, that one's, that one looks like fun. So, just like the one yesterday, we'll have to get a game plan together and See what it's going to take to get it. Cut and ooh, tri axle, even. So, yeah. Let's see if we can get a hold of the owner here and start getting to, to work.
What do you think? Are we doing a good job? Huh? Doesn't know. Thank you. Uh, we've got the rear slide out in. We've got the front ones disassembled. Sitting on the front, we haven't strapped those down yet. Um, pretty much everything from the front half has been cut up, loaded up in the back of the dump trailer. So we are going to move the dump trailer out of the way and get the other roll back in to hook up to the trailer here. And then um, the thought process is transport it back to our shop and cut up the remaining back half back at home. So we will get hooked up here and hopefully be out of here in a few minutes. Thursday, June 30th, and we are headed back out again this morning to get yet another camper um, wiped out by a tree. So, Zach and I is here in the 550 tow truck. This one um, is a fifth wheel, so we've got our fifth wheel hitch on the back of the tow truck here. Uh, this one looks like it's hitting the front end. A uh, tree wiped out one of the slide outs. Uh, so we'll have to secure some loose parts, maybe cut some pieces, and I think the back slide out may still be out also. So we are headed down there now and hopefully get it hooked up and be able to beat the heat. And we have arrived. So the slide out was the one that was damaged. They've, I believe the campgrounds, shoved the slide out back into the skid steer. Uh, we have to get the slide out back here, which appears like it's wedged. Um, 
I'm gonna probably have to put some air in the tires, but they did not tell us about this, that it's been sitting for 11 years at the campground, so the tires are definitely not in great shape at all. So hopefully we don't have any problems. We do have a spare, just in case one blows out. Um, tires on this side, yes, they're just as, just as bad, so, um, I think we found the problem. Get up inside here, and there's the, the, um, bedroom that got knocked out, and I think the problem with the slide out is, looks like they tried to take it back in, and it's wedged pretty tight, so I think if we take it back out, and one of us watches here, I'm thinking, as you see, daylight, I'm thinking that it should come back in, fingers crossed, so we'll get busy and see what happens. Alright, so not quite sure, here's the slide out button here, but I think when I slide it out, it's running that one. But once I, I hold the same button in, that one maxes out, then this one starts to go. So hopefully we can get this pried away and that will free up there. So if you want to get up there, pry, pry on, get right in here in the cupboard. Bust that off first. Get, get in here, pry right on there in the cupboard and see if you can get it past that handle. You might have to shove it out more. I don't know. Or, yeah, see if you can... Can you pry the, see if you can pry that piece of wood off the top. No. Take it out some. Which I don't want to, but. Okay, we've got that pried off. Had to pry the door away, but it should have clearance. So hopefully, take the slide out in. Should. Come in. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. Yep, the slide out is back in, so definitely happy with that. And we're gonna lower the legs down. Um, while we've got it still hooked up, the wonderful thing about the hook wheel hitch we have here, um, we can lower it with the wheel lift. So we can take this, lower it down before getting hooked up. That way, once we disconnect power, battery's many years old, but we lower it right on down. Let's see. It's going very slow, but we'll get the front end lowered and uh, get backed up, hooked onto it. And I well, we probably better put some air in the tires first, but I'll give it a check. Cut it hard left. Stop. Hard right. And pull ahead. Okay, hard left again. Back up. I'm not going to guide that.
little more. Okay. I'm gonna lock pick the winch back in. And pick the uh, feet up here. Already, we've got our straps on, um, everything's ready to go. So, pull away from this block at the back, and hopefully, there's no issues transporting it about a about an hour and a half from here. So, we'll see. As you can see, we made it pretty far. We got a whopping 15 to 20 mile from our pickup location and got flagged down and said uh, there's rubber shreds. So we now get to change the tire just as we expected to have issues. So we're gonna have to give the- uh, That's fixable, that's like new. Company a call and uh, see how they want to proceed because we still have another probably 60 to 70 miles till we get to the drop-off location. So we aired up the spare, which is about just as just as bad. And uh, yeah, so we shall see what happens. And go from there. So we made it another maybe 10 miles or so. Zach's driving. He looks nice and happy because we just blew the spare that we put on. So we're running slow here and basically hoping that we can make it back to our shop at least until we decide what the company wants to do. Um, proceed, turn left. Yeah, about that. Yeah. So we shall. Uh, Hopefully that one will hold out until uh, we at least get back to our shop and, like I said, see what the company wants to do uh, to proceed from here because we still have another probably 60 miles till we get to the drop-off location. So we will be back with you shortly. All right, so we've got back to our shop and it looks like it did not blow, but it still has air in it but if you look the uh what we heard was actually just all of the tread coming off so just about as bad but uh yeah so we will see what we're going to proceed from here so we have made it up here it's uh friday the following day we ended up um Pulling the wheels off of the 40 foot camper that we got on Wednesday, I believe. Um, the bolt pattern was the same, tires a little bit smaller, so we ended up changing out all four tires. Because as you can see, the ones here, treads shot and dry rotted, and since we lost three of the tires before ever even getting halfway to the drop-off location, um, figured it was going to be in the best interest just to change them out. So, unfortunately, we have to change them back to the originals right now. Um, so, 
we'll get busy with that and then we're done with this one. Change the back ones out, put them up on a block, raise the front ones up a little bit, plus raise the front of the truck up. So finish getting these changed and we'll be out of here. Okay, we're headed back out again, as you can guess, for another camper. Um, it's Tuesday, July 5th, and uh, this will be the fifth one that we've done now in the past week. So, um, I've seen pictures of this one. Looks like it could be one of the worst ones we've done so far. Um, I believe the tree fell on the back half of it and smashed it right to the frame so um, this one will be at disposal for the insurance company so uh, we're headed there now about a I don't know close to an hour and 20 minutes away from the shop so we'll see what we get into once we arrive at the campground Hoping we aren't going to get wet, but I got a bad feeling that we're going to get wet. How many pop the, tires the are we going to get today? The last one and the furthest one from home is always going to be the funnest. There it is, I bet. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Fun times, fun times. <laughs> well, yeah, we're definitely going to get wet. You see the tree that caused all the damage, but as of now, I think the plan is we're going to cut it right there at the halfway point. Cross our fingers and hope that the frame is. Not completely bent, which it looks at first look, it appears okay. So, we have got quite the cleanup to do yet. And just let's see how it just literally rips these campers to shreds. Um, we just put together with cheap wood particle board. Um, but, yeah, so. We've got uh, the rollback unhooked. Zach's truck now, which we pulled off of the rollback, hooked to the dump trailer, and then the plan is that the rollback is going to hook up to the camper and get it out of here. So we will get busy. Unfortunately, we didn't get a lot of footage of this because of the uh, rain. We got Zach and I, oh, he's over there. We both got soaked. Um, rained up until the last half hour, so got uh, all the pieces, parts off the back half in there. Here's where the camper was, sitting. So basically just cut it at the back half there, stripped it down to the frame, and now we are good to go to transport it back to our facility to continue uh, stripping the rest down so as you can tell we are back out on the road again today for another fun-filled day of moving destroyed campers so this should be the should be the last one. We bid on a total of seven. This is number six out of seven now. So we thought we were done yesterday. Um, today is Wednesday, July 6th. Uh, this one, another one that got destroyed by a tree. We've seen pictures. The slide out's been knocked out of it. Um, this one will also be at disposal. 
so we'll have to figure out what the best plan of attack is, uh, get it dismantled, so hopefully we can get it at least moved back to our shop and continue the, the deconstruction process. Uh, yeah, so we will be to the campground here shortly and see what we have in store for us. Looks like we are going to have to move quick because the sky is getting dark all around us and I'm hoping that we do not get wet. Um, but yes, as you can see, got the side open, roof open, so you know, the plan is to do it similar to the other ones and just hopefully we can get the slide out cut down here. Um, and then throw some straps over and hopefully that we can get everything inside of there to hold together. But uh, like I guess we need to, to work quick to hopefully avoid getting soaked. So we will have a look here and seems like everything's ready to go. So you can see this one's a toy hauler version. So, kind of interesting, but, yep, we're going to get busy. Set. Should be able to get out of here. Um, worked hopefully as planned. You can see the top roof's pretty banged up. Uh, removed the slide out, removed the cabinets and stuff that were up dangling there. So uh, everything else feels pretty solid. So hopefully, we should be able to make it back to the shop where we can continue pulling it apart. Till next time.